Hello again and welcome back to my channel, Mommy for Five Griffins. Today I want to talk about an emergency stockpile and the things that you want to have in your stockpile is very, very important. Number one is water. I know you've heard of the rule of threes and our bodies can't go without water for more than three days. So water is an essential part of your stockpile. Make sure to have as many water bottles on hand. Number two is dry beans. Dry beans are very versatile and you know you can make them with very little effort. All you need is water and spices and you have a great meal. Beans are also a staple that you can actually store for a very long time. So if you need to store these for a year or more, you'll be able to do so. Another staple to always have on hand is rice. Rice, again, is very versatile and you can use it in many ways. Also, it stores very nicely and it actually has been found to store almost infinitely. So this is a great item to have in your stockpile. Brown rice, of course, only lasts for about six months, so keep that in mind. Number four, salt. Salt is something that we need in our diet, and it's something that helps us preserve our food, so of course you want to have this in your pantry. The um, salt with iodine doesn't last as long, so keep that in mind. Salt is something that we should always have. Canned meats. There's a variety of canned meats that you would have in your pantry and of course you can make these with several meals or so forth but Spam and uh, other canned meats can be used very easily for breakfast, sandwiches, dinners, whatever and they last for a very long time because they're canned. Tuna will give you extra protein in your diet as well as um, you can use this for recipes, casseroles, and sandwiches. So that's another. Canned chicken is also a good source. It's a good source of protein. It can also be used very versatilely in uh, casseroles cooking soups and what have you so that's another staple that you should have in your pantry at all times and I usually try to keep about four or five cans at all times um, for lunches and so forth pork and beef now these little ladies you can actually get them from almost any food pantry in the United States and it's very versatile you can actually use these in many recipes so don't look away when you see these cans because they are very, very vital for your food pantry. Canned vegetables, number six. And these are something that you can keep in your pantry as well. We all need vegetables and when we're not able to get the fresh produce, these will be staples and most likely there are already staples in your pantry but um, make sure to stockpile them just in case of an emergency and by all means make sure to have canned tomatoes and sauces in your pantry so that you can easily make pasta sauce you don't have to have that in your pantry as well as long as you have tomatoes and spices you've got spaghetti snack bars Snack bars and energy bars are a quick fix um, when you're in the need of some much needed energy. And it should be a staple, especially if you, if you have little ones in your home. Um, snack bars and energy bars are very good additions for your pantry.
pastas. These are another essential to our pantry, mainly because dried pasta lasts so very long. Um, and it's very versatile. You can actually add it to soups, casseroles, um, spaghettis, lasagnas. You can make so many different things with pastas. Macaroni and cheese is not the only thing that, that can be added. So make sure you have many varieties of pastas in your food pantry. A very good protein to have for your food pantry and it can also cut for a, a sweet tooth actually is peanut butter peanut butter is wonderful you can make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches uh, peanut butter and celery peanut butter as a snack it'll give you the extra protein you need as well as good fat and um, if you have a sweet tooth and you don't have anything in the house, of course, peanut butter and a few extra ingredients. And you've got cookies. You've got cookies in no time with very little ingredients. So that's another. What is peanut butter without jams and preserves? So yes, you want to have this staple in your pantry in case of an emergency. You want that sugar fix and this will be your go-to. Jams and jellies are a good way to curve that sweet tooth. Another item that you want to have in your pantry is shelf safe milk. Um, if you don't have the shelf stable milk, of course you can do powdered milk as well, but shelf stable milk doesn't need to be refrigerated. Um, it does need to be refrigerated after it's opened, but um, it doesn't need to be refrigerated initially. So that's a great staple for your pantry. Another is vinegar. Vinegar we can use to ferment food, in cooking, in laundry, in cleaning. It is such a versatile ingredient for your pantry. So make sure to have vinegar, white vinegar and apple cider vinegar in your pantry. Because these items you, you will not be able to do without. Another staple important for seasoning your food is bouillon and stock. Bouillon and stock will give your food the extra flavor that you need. You can add a little bouillon to your beans, to your rice, to your potted meat, um, what have you, and it'll give you extra flavor and also. Um, season the food very nicely so although it does have extra salt added into the bouillon you can deal with that accordingly the other spices this is another staple that is very essential for your pantry because uh, in order to flavor your food and um, other things 
to give yourself variety. If you're eating rice, of course, if you add certain seasonings to your rice, it makes it more bearable to eat it occasionally than just plain rice or rice and butter or rice and bouillon or, you know, add, add spices to your, to your foods. It'll give you more variety. Another staple that you want in your pantry is pain relievers. Of course, this is very essential as well for those minor aches and pains and, and fever reducers, pain relievers, and so forth. If, of course, you're no good to your family if you have a migraine and it's not going away or if you have a fever and it's not going away. So something to have essentially in your pantry at all times is a pain reliever. This also goes for vitamins. Vitamins are also essential. And cold and flu medications. Cold and flu medications are very important for your pantry as well. And make sure to have those on hand for those times when it's cold season. Now in some areas of the world, the it's cold season even when it's not cold so keep that in mind and always have your pantry stocked with medications that that you may need it at a certain time And in case of an outage, of course, we want to have lighters and matches. Lighters and matches are also essential in our pantry. And we should all have some on hand in case, you know, there's an outage. You have a way to um, light your gas stove, light candles, light a fire, um, many different ways that we all need lighters and matches so those are very essential as well and of course going along with the lighters and matches another essential is candles candles are very essential and um, especially if there's an outage or candles have been lighting our way in the time of darkness for a very long time so of course candles is very essential to your pantry as well um, and even though you're not using them as a decorative purpose, they can also be very essential. So keep candles in your um, 
pantry as well in many sizes. Another is gloves. Uh, of course, gloves, medical gloves, uh, chemical gloves, all of those are essential in uh, your pantry as well. You may need to wear gloves to, um, we use them for cleaning, for sanitation, for, for everything under the sun. So, yes, gloves are another pantry essential. And the last thing on our list is bar soap. Yes, bar soap is very essential as well. Um, not only does it work for cleaning our bodies, but um, in the time of need, you can also shave it down and make liquid hand soap, um, dish detergent, laundry detergent, you can do several different things with bar soap so always have bar soap in your pantry as well because that will be an essential not only will you need your body clean but you'll need your clothes and your dishes clean as well I hope these ideas serve you well and thank you again for watching and have a blessed day like and subscribe and comment below thank you